Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Abominable. Now, I remember when the first trailer dropped for this, and I'm like, wow, DreamWorks, putting your best foot forward. And that trailer is just, bleh. And if I had to hear that stupid joke, it's like, I have blueberries where blueberries shouldn't be. And the kid, like, walks away and has giant blueberries in his butt, and it's just like, God, it's gonna be one of those kind of movies. And then I saw the second trailer, and it was kind of sweet and endearing, and I'm like, hmm, they probably shouldn't have put that first trailer out if they had this trailer, and it had this really sweet violin version of Go Your Own Way, which I always find really interesting that they put songs like that in trailers for kids, because you know what that song's really about. That whole entire album's about people breaking up with people, but you know... It sounds nice, so let's throw it in a kid's trailer. But whatever. And I'm like, ah, how am I supposed to feel about Abominable? And I went in, and it was surprisingly sweet and endearing. Is it super memorable? No. This isn't like Pixar Disney Animation tier. This isn't first to Shrek tier. Or any of the How to Train Your Dragon tier of DreamWorks. But, or Kung Fu Panda. But you know what? It isn't Shrek the Third. There you go. And this film is sweet. It has some nice characters in it. The two, two of the three main kids in this, Yi and Peng, they're really adorable. You care about them. Yi has very stereotypical kid background of animated movies. You know, both parents aren't there. Of course not. But Nai Nai, her grandmom great, adorable, sassy, and then you have Jin, who I hated, and kind of wish he wasn't in the movie, just wasn't interested in him at all, and then they two, throw two random, like, well-known, either, like, white actors into this film that is mostly Asian actors, it has Eddie Izzard and Sarah Paulson in it, but the main thing is, Everest, this Yeti, is absolutely adorable, you really enjoy that character, he's very sweet, and there's some great music in this with a lot of violin. The visuals are gorgeous with all the different kinds of magic he does. It's just kind of breathtaking to watch some of the shots in this film. But overall, it's just a sweet, cute little movie, and it's good enough for everybody in the family. Like, as an adult, am I sitting there thinking, like, I absolutely love this, like, sitting and watching Shrek and laughing at all the terrible adult jokes that they make in that film that kids have no idea what the hell they're talking about? It's not that kind of movie. But it's enjoyable and sweet enough that got me to be at least engaged in this film. And I recommend this for any families who are looking to go see something this weekend. Go check out Abominable. It's cute. DreamWorks, you go. You did a good job. But those are my thoughts on Abominable. Let me know what you think. And thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.